Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be a lot of fun because we're going to finally knock out the dedicated video that this guitar deserves. This guitar and I have a decent amount of history in a short amount of time. For those of you guys who have been following my channel for quite some time, you guys know that. But today we're going to be checking out this beautiful Schechter Aaron Marshall signature guitar. <clears throat> so before we start talking about this guitar, be sure to follow me on Spotify. Be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel. This channel is absolutely awesome, if I do say so myself. I love creating for you all. And yeah, today's just going to be a lot of fun, so thank you so much in advance. So just to keep you guys up to speed real quick with this guitar, this guitar actually arrived, give or take, February 3rd of this year at my old house. And long story short, the neck wasn't on the body when I pulled it out of the guitar. So this is actually not my guitar, it's a friend of mine, a longtime viewer, and just a great friend in real life. And um, anyway, man, so he and I coordinated with Sweetwater, because this guitar did come from Sweetwater. It got sent back to Sweetwater, the neck was put back on, and the QC was double checked again, and then it arrived back here, and then I went on tour, and now we're back, and now I have the ability to make this video. So, this guitar and I have been waiting to do this video for over two and a half months now. So let's just cut right to the chase before we start talking about this guitar and talking about the specs and the ins and outs of this guitar. Let's jam real quick. This guitar is tuned to drop D and I'm using an old time favorite. Let's use the archetype Abasi from Neural DSP in a demo song really quick. So let's talk about the specs with this guitar. We have a basswood body, bolt-on construction, a Wenge neck, 12 to 16 compound fretboard radius, an ebony board, 24 jumbo stainless steel frets. We have the solstice and the, what the f is the other pickup called? Hold on. Let me pull my notes real quick. We have the uh, solstice and the equinox in the neck. Solstice in the bridge, equinox in the neck from Schecter, I do believe. <laughs> Goto trim, we have a five-way master volume, master tone, locking tuners, and I think that's pretty much about it. <laughs> Aaron Marshall, if you guys are unfamiliar with his music in the band Intervals, I highly recommend you guys check him out. Very guitar-centric music and just, you know, just a master of the craft, right? But this guitar, to me, does exactly what you would expect it to do. It's like the modern-day proggy, shreddy, like, not super heavy guitar tones, but like, like that progressive kind of, you know, modern guitar player. It's hard to describe, but you guys know exactly what I'm saying. It does that very, very well. This guitar, in my opinion, does not necessarily do like, I don't know, super brutal heavy metal music or anything like that. And it's not trying to be. And that's totally cool. I'm sure you could get away with it by all means. Like, who am I to say? But you guys know what I'm saying? Like, it does exactly what it's leaning into based off of the sound, the feel, the ergonomics, and anything in between. Another thing I do appreciate is the color. Now, I don't know if it's exactly my favorite color, but it is rather unique. I believe this is called Arctic Jade, if my research and my memory serve me correct. Um, it's kind of like a 
teal, metallic teal kind of, not surf, but yeah, like a teal aqua kind of color. It looks kind of blue on my viewfinder there, but it is kind of bluish green and it is different. You know what I mean? Like it stands out from the crowd for better or for worse. Like I said, not necessarily my favorite color, but I do appreciate something different where it's just not an all black guitar or an all white guitar. Those are sick in its own right, but you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit unique and for that, I appreciate it. <laughs> Speaking of unique, we also have a Wenge neck. Now, I'm not necessarily sure how I feel about the feel of a Wenge neck because it's very porous and like you can feel the wood grain and it's got a unique feel to it. It's not like a maple neck or a mahogany neck. You can feel the wood grain and here, a little ASMR for you. I don't know if that did anything for you guys, but <laughs> like you can see the actual detail in the wood grain. So. Again, a unique feature and something that I'm not necessarily too familiar with. I know Schechter does a lot of Wenge with a lot of their artist models or just models in general. That's kind of cool, especially with this neck. And I guess to continue on with the neck, the neck itself is not what I would expect from this style of player. Like I would assume like a very thin, super flat, shreddy type of neck. Now it is rather skinny and it is not necessarily a baseball bat by any means, but in my opinion, it's kind of leaning into a nice happy medium where like you could certainly shred on this thing and play a million miles an hour, but it's not too thin and too skinny. Like I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that. I mean, you guys know me, I love Les Pauls and stuff like that. So the fact that this neck is, um, you know, comfortable for lack of a better description, in my opinion, I dig it. <laughs> Now, are there any sort of negatives? Well, for me, it's a personal preference. I'm just not necessarily a huge fan of like this style of guitar music and, and tones. You know what I'm saying? Like I said in the beginning of this video, like it does that kind of like, one would describe like a woody tone. What the hell does that even mean? I don't even really know. I'm not even sure if I'm using that adjective in the right way, but it has that kind of like, like I said, man, that kind of typical progressive guitar centric, shreddy, broken up clean type of sound. And if that's your type of, you know, style, then by all means, this is your bread and butter. This is your one-two punch. But for me, I don't know, man. I kind of like mahogany body guitars, EMGs, you know, that type of vibe. And that's totally fine to admit that. So like I said, one more time, if this is what you're looking for, it'll do that very, very well. You have the ability to have a five way, so you can get some single coil sounds, some split coil sounds, as well as a humbucker in the bridge in the neck. So, but all things considered, Schechter more often than not absolutely crushes it with their guitars. I know I said me and this guitar have a little bit of history, but now that it's up and running, it feels and plays exactly like what you think a Schechter would do. And for that, you know, I truly sincerely enjoy jamming on this guitar for the time being. So everybody, that's more or less my thoughts and opinions on this guitar. I'd love to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of my video? What do you guys think of my findings with this guitar? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know down below and we'll have a nice discussion on everything Aaron Marshall, Intervals, Schechter, and this guitar, okay? One more time, be sure to follow me on Spotify, like this video, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really helps out and I really appreciate you all, okay? So I gotta get out of here. I gotta start working on more videos because I'm actually leaving to go back out on the road and give or take a week. So I got a lot of work to do uh, as well as get my, my new room set up. So anyway, man, thank you so much for watching. In the meantime, if you could do all the things I asked, I really appreciate you. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys very, very soon. Later.